Hey there, this is Joel Rich, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial about the Groove object in Max MSP5. All right, so we're going to make a new Max MSP window, and the first thing I'm going to do is make a buffer object. Buffer tilde, we've got to give it a name. I'm going to call this Stinky Baby. Babby. Stinky Babby. All right, and uh, buffer object needs a size. I'm going to say 2,000, so 2,000 milliseconds equals 2 seconds. Then I'm going to say, give it, make it two channel because I've got a stereo input um, right now. And so when we, we can double click on this and we can see that there are two channels here and there's nothing in it. It's empty. We've got to find a way to put something in it. And so we're going to make a record object. Record stinky baby and make, specify that it's stereo. Okay. And... This is all because the um, the groove object needs a buffer to reference. Uh, the, it's going to take the groove. What the groove object does is it takes a part of the buffer and it repeats it over and over again. So we need a buffer to reference. So I can make an easy input, and I'm gonna plug this in here, and I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a little level meter. Level, level. Level meter, uh, just to check if my input's working. That's just a nice way to do it. Yes, it is. It is working. All right. And okay, so we make a toggle. And uh, if I turn on my input and I turn on the toggle, hello there. I'm recording stuff. Cool. Uh, if we double click on the buffer again. We can see that I did in fact record stuff. Cool. All right. So now what we can do, let's make this a bit bigger, uh, is we can make a groove object. So groove stinky babby and specify that it's stereo. There we go. So now what do we do with this? Well, we need to put some inputs in here. So the first one uh, is the sample playback increment. So what this means is it wants a number to figure out how fast to be playing the sample at. Uh, one, If you give it a 1, it's going to play it back at normal speed. If you play it at 0. 0.5, it's going to play at half speed. 2 is going to be double speed, and then it kind of goes on from there. You know, 4 is like four times speed, which effectively means two octaves up, and then one, 2 is like one octave up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. But you'll see. You'll see how it goes. So I'm going to make a little sig signal object, sig tilde, and plug it into the first thing. And then I'm going to make a float, tell it how fast to do it. And let's see, we're going to make an easy DAC because it's cool. And plug this in here. And I wonder if this will actually make sound. Oh, I know. There's there's one trick. There's one trick you have to do first with this with the groove object. It's kind of annoying, but if you you type a message that's loop one, and you plug it into the groove object, and you hit that, it basically means loop yes. Because I want it to loop. I don't want it to stop after one playthrough. Because it, it it it's hard to start again for some reason. Let's see. This makes a noise. Hello there, I'm recording. Oh, Hello does. there. Okay, I'm recording something quieter. I recorded something, recording quieter, something quieter because quieter. the last one was a little okay, bit distorted. Recording something quieter. So there's one octave up, two octaves up, three octaves up. <laughs> now I'm speaking backwards. Cool. All right. Uh, so what else can we do with this? Um, well, these other two inputs, uh, one is the low value and one is the high value for the loop. So the loop min and the loop max. And one neat object that we can use to work with this is the R slider. The R slider stands for range slider. It allows us to pick a range and it actually does more stuff than I realized. And I'm going to demonstrate some new stuff that I just figured out with it because it's really cool. <laughs> All right. So I just set it. I just went into the inspector. Uh, you go into the inspector by hitting Command-I or sometimes, like, um, I guess it's Control-I. 
But uh, so I went in here, hit the inspector, and I changed the maximum range to 2,000 because that goes with our buffer object. Uh, that means I can select the entire anywhere in the buffer object. I, I'm not limited. Um, okay, so I will show you the neat thing that I figured out. So I want to select a small portion. And I could just drag across. And you can hear that I'm selecting a different portion of the sample every time. Okay. If I hit the shift key, I can change these without resetting the selection. So that's hitting the shift key there. If I hit the alt key and I drag up and down, I can make it bigger and smaller. And if I hit the command key, oh, that's not the command key. Okay. If I hit the command key, I can drag it across. I can do like a scrubbing effect. Alright, so that's it for this basic tutorial for the Groove object. Part 2 will be coming soon, and it's going to be more wicked awesome cool stuff that you can do with it. Uh, until then, make some really weird sounds. Okay, bye.